today we are going to be making Takashi Murakami's flowers. As you can see, they're super bright, almost emoji-like, and super happy. So let's make some that are super colorful, and I said super too much. All right, you might need to pause the video because it gets a little fast, but you need to grab one thing in your house that's circular, and then you're gonna trace it in the middle of your white paper to make a circle for our flower today. You can put that off to the side. And now you're gonna draw a straight line up, but not all the way to the top of the paper. Then a diagonal line and another diagonal line right below that. Then a fourth line that goes straight out, but again, not touching the edge of our paper. Here's five, six, seven, go straight down, diagonal line coming up here, number eight, diagonal line again for number nine. Then a straight outline, just like the other one, for number 10. A diagonal line for number 11. And if you have space, put one more line, otherwise leave a blank. Now we need to do the inside of our face like an emoji, so do two ovals for our eyes. Then you're going to draw two smaller circles inside of your ovals for our highlight of our eyes. Now let's do the same, but for the bottom part of our eyes. So they're gonna be smaller. Again, we're gonna keep them white. So two small circles inside of our ovals. Now we're going to do the smile and it looks exaggerated and super happy, so draw a straight line inside of your smiley face. Then you're gonna connect those two lines with a half circle, so it looks super duper happy. Now we need to go back to do our flower, oh, pause. We need to color in the part that we want to color for our eyes, so let's just shade in lightly for now with our pencil. Remember to keep those circles that we made white because the highlight parts of our eyes are white. Now we can go to our flower petals. So you're gonna connect every single line together and that line will be connected by a curved line. So watch me and then you can do it after. about to speed up the video so pause it if it gets too fast. Now you need to grab a black marker or just a dark crayon and we're going to outline which means follow all the lines that we just did in pencil. So let's start from the beginning. Let's go around our face first. Now let's do our oval eyes. Then the small circles that we did inside of our ovals. All four. Then you may color in that shaded in part that we did with pencil earlier. Let's get our mouth, so the straight line that we did. Then we're gonna do the curved line. Now we're gonna do all those straight lines that we did for our petals, so let's go. You can turn your paper if it's easier to draw on those lines. And 
and then finally we will trace all of those curved lines we made. So I'm going to speed up the video so if it gets too fast, go ahead and pause it. Now you need to grab crayons or markers or something to color with. I like crayons because you can get a lot of different colors and shades if you press lightly on two colors together. Um, or you could just use the same colors as the rainbow and repeat your pattern. So let's go ahead and start coloring in our flower. You do not have to go in rainbow order, but I went ahead and did that. And you can also do your favorite colors wherever you want. So go ahead and fill in every petal as best you can, and don't forget to do the face too. Once you're finished with all of those, you're going to take scissors and bubble cut out your beautiful flower. And now you're done. Great job!